What is up, guys? How's everybody doing? I am Tiff. I am Tiff. <laughs> welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Make sure you're subscribed so you know when all of my future readings come out. This is going to be a general reading. It's not going to resonate for everybody. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Don't force it to fit your situation, guys. Getting all up in the comment section like it's a personal. No, I'm just, I'm just playing, y'all. Because really, I have more positive. I don't let any negative comments get me down. I just hide them people from my channel because way more positive than negative boo okay i just say oop that's a karmic let me hide them from my channel <laughs> okay let's get right into this we're gonna get your person's energy at this time let's see what's going on in the collective person's life at this time spirit ancestors and guides Ooh, options the seven of cups okay this person is trying to Mm, with the two of cups that so many energy and the three of wands okay so what had happened in the past with this person is that they were outweighing their options here whoever this person is they judged you in the past they might have felt like you weren't good enough for them okay with the seven of cups it is somebody that has options and they're outweighing their options but then you have the two of cups which is that soulmate energy okay that divine soulmate deep deep relationship and connection here but then you also have the three of wands now look at how this dude is sitting on this three of wands card bored sad looking really upset the three of wands you know from the two twos are in tarot is like a choice the threes are like the consequences of your your actions the consequences of your choices the two of wands it's like somebody waiting on their ships to sell in, but it's also like somebody has a decision. There's usually two ships on the card, right? And they're trying to outweigh out which is the best way to go. They have two ships to choose from. This person chose the wrong ship because on the three of wands, now they're sitting here. They're looking bored. And they're definitely regretting whatever d this decision they made, okay? And it has to do with this soulmate here that's in the middle. The problem is here, this person made their soulmate feel like the... I don't know, they could have said something that was like really hateful or hurtful that made you feel less than, like especially if they were choosing between you and another person or they had you dealing in a third party, okay? They might have said something about the other person like that they were better than you and it really hurt your feelings but this person did not mean that at all I, it's not necessarily like that they're better but they said something pertaining to this other person to 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 hurt your feelings it was below the belt they knew it was going to hurt your feelings and they did not mean it at all whatsoever here okay and with this seven of cups it's like yeah this person is still they're in another place okay they're they're dealing with the consequences of their choice in another place miserably but they're thinking about they're still they still feel like they can get you back they still feel like they can come back towards you they have not given up um hope that you like and I hate to say that you're still an option but it's the seven of cups that they can still have that option to come back towards this two of cups the problem is they're trying to leave this two of cups this soulmate energy at open as an option you don't treat your divine counterpart as no motherfucking option because what's the universe gonna do they're gonna come in and tear your ass up and it looks like that's the energy that he's in now just kind of very bored very upset not happy at all with his decision and the problem is like he it took him a long time it's like he this person could have had you in limbo for a long time outweighing you and somebody else you know what i'm saying trying to play both fences so they had felt like they were like whatever situation they went towards they thought okay all right but <laughs> trick them yeah spirit come through look at the bottom of the deck you got that motherfucking ten of wands. That's burden, stress. This person has a lot of motherfucking baggage that they're carrying around on their back. And the baggage is the emotions that they have for you, I feel. Okay? This person is in love with you. And now they're burdened and stressed in another situation, carrying around the baggage of how deeply that they were in love with you and how they fucked that up. Another thing that really weighs heavily on this person is the fact that they made you feel like an option when they know that you were better than anybody else that they've ever fucked with in their lifetime. 
It's like, you know, you were the best thing that's ever happened to this person. And what they did is they made you feel like you were less than and then they made you feel like an option. And they they definitely regret that. That's something that really weighs heavily on this person ever making you feel like you were an option or that you weren't bet like you were less than anybody else because you were always this person's number one. They could have picked another situation for money. This person could be very um materialistic okay and they really have whole money at on a high you know what i'm saying like materialistic shit um the way something looks like on um, this person is just very shallow okay yeah and they ended this situation and went towards this competition this is came out just like this yesterday man and with the seven of pentacles, it's like they have put in so much motherfucking work into a situation. And there it is. Look, there's that two of wands I was just talking about. Now, see how this dude, he's at this desk. He got this book in front of him. He's really trying to outweigh which way he should go. Which ship should he jump here? Okay? Playing. Didn't I just say that? With the the king of wands, the knight of wands is that player energy of the deck. It's somebody that's in and out. Okay, they come in passionately. They can fill your head with a lot of bullshit. They don't stay long. They were going back and forth, but between you and this other person, or going back and forth in their head about who they should be with or what they should do here. And ultimately, they wanted you. Yeah. They wanted you, but the problem is you're too strong. You're not going to put up with this shit. You know that they were investing elsewhere, okay? You know that they might have been trying to use another person for money and continuing to invest in that situation. So it's almost like there had to be a death for a rebirth here, but you also, you ain't finna deal with no competition, none, none of that, because bitch, if you want to bring it there, I can step down out of my divine energy and beat your motherfucking ass, both of y'all. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing, y'all. Don't get violent, okay? But really, like, no, nah, you wasn't finna put up with none of that shit. You know it's divine. You know it's meant to be together. Because with th this death card, that's transformation and rebirth. It, 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 there was a need for a separation here. And so I feel like the problem, though, is that you're too strong. You were too strong for this energy. You guys might have fought and butt, head, butt heads a lot because you knew that they were investing elsewhere. You weren't, like, trying to be in no third party. You weren't trying to deal with that. What's mine is mine. Like, come the fuck on. I'm not finna deal with no stress and no bullshit. And so what this person did is, yeah, they went to this other situation. They offered somebody else this cup. And it was only because your energy scares the fuck out of this person. That strong, vibrant energy that you have, it scares the fuck out of this person. So they went to this, uh, made somebody this other offer thinking that they were going to be successful. That this was going to bring them their happiness. That they were going to... um it was going to work out there. I'm telling you, when this person went towards this other person, they really thought, okay, this is where I'm supposed to be. Okay? But now this person is over here feeling stuck as fuck. Okay? Not happy. Mentally torturing themselves. Okay? But they feel trapped in that other situation. And I don't feel like it's because they went there i think it's because they know your strong energy you're not gonna just motherfucking you want i feel like deep down you want this person but you're not just gonna welcome them with open arms like come back baby like after everything they did But see, this person has to make a choice here with the lover's card, okay? This is definitely a soulmate energy, but they're dealing with some kind of, um, there's a karmic and there's a soulmate energy. And this person that loves you very, very much coming up as the king of cups now has to sit back and watch you. He has this wand in his hand, so he's definitely missing you passionately, okay? He's missing the passion between the two of you guys. He also has this cup in his hand, so it's like he's missing the passion and he's missing the love that the two of you guys share. He wants to come and offer you his rod, <laughs> his rod, and um, his cup, okay? 
but it's like everything is crashing around this masculine it's like in this king of cups card it's like there's a storm brewing in okay the tides are coming are raising around his chair you know his feet are already being flooded out yeah, he feels very, very stuck in a tumultuous situation. This could be something that he kept running back to. And now it's like spirits like, okay, you dumbass, we're finna show you. Yeah, this masculine is drowning. And now it's almost like he has to sit back and watch you. He wants to make an offer. He doesn't know what to do. You're focusing on work, okay? You're focusing on work. You have, you have, um... You have a shield up. You have a wall up when it comes to this person. And it's only because you're not sure. Now it's like even though you love this person and you feel this deep connection with them, you're not sure what their motives are, what they want from you. You know that they have a manipulative energy. You know that they lie. And it's like you're not just going to be sitting here trusting and believing nobody that done played you for a fool once. Fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame on me. Fuck no the star you are the star you are motherfucking shining in everything that you do and if you don't feel like you are trust me people are noticing what you have going on they're noticing the hard work they're noticing the struggle then they, they're noticing what you're going through okay and with the star that is hope that's hope for a bright future that's hope for new beginnings that's hope um that everything is going to be looking up okay that's wish fulfillment Yeah, like I said, though, you're blocked off when it comes to this person. Four of Pentacles. You're not trying. And it's like this person's very greedy and selfish when it comes to money. Okay. And so they could have blocked you off once again for their own money. But I feel like now whoever is blocking off the other person, it's because they're like, they're just trying to focus. Like if this person's the one blocking you out. Okay. They're really trying to focus on work just to forget about what's going on with you. But if it's the other way around, if it's you're like you have that wallet, you is not dealing with them. I feel like they still they're they're focusing on work trying to forget about you. And there's that nine of wands again. See that wall up, that shield up, that not being sure of what they want from you, you know finding yourself into a, a good place and then you know you know that this person brings a lot of drama okay and with the judgment card this is them wanting to this is them making a final decision okay a definite final decision and you could feel like the decision that they made when they chose somebody else or went towards somebody else over you that they um that that was the final decision. There's no going back. You chose somebody else over me. That's the decision is final. It is what it is. Okay. But I feel like there is definitely they're going to be coming back around intuitively. I feel like you already know that they're coming back around that they will eventually come around to try to work this out with you. Because this everything is being resurrected on that card. I'm going to buy some new tarot cards. I just really see what they take forever. And this person is like they always want time. Or it's like they they say that they're going to do something and then they make no progress on it. Or they make you a promise and then they don't fall through. Stop it! I'm sorry, y'all. The dog keeps scratching on my door. Um, He's ready to come in, but he's not coming in until I get done because he's worsome. Okay? Don't come for me. He's spoiled. Knight of Pentacles, okay, so it's like whoever this person is, um, they, it's like they take forever in, in owning up to their promises, they definitely want to bring peace to this situation, okay, they want to reconcile, but see, they're, they're, they got this devil ass energy that's, no, puppy, no, They got this energy here where it's like they definitely want because this is twin flame infinity symbol here. But this eight is also associated with karma. What goes around comes around everything that they're putting out because it's like you're like, OK, that's your decision. Stand on that shit. All right. And now they want to come back towards you. But it's like who wants to sit here and continue like waiting, waiting, waiting. You're pushing your own life to the side uh, while they're living their fucking life. That's not fair to you. OK, 
I know a lot of readers are like, wait, wait, patiently, wait. You also have to be putting work in and moving forward and doing things differently in life in order to push the change in your twin flame. So if you're just sitting at home doing the same thing you were doing three years ago or whenever this happened, there's not going to be a lot of changes happening within your person. I'm just going to be real, okay? But, um, yeah, that's not fair to you, okay? Um... The temperance does bring peace, okay, but it's just somebody here is in a very heartbreaking situation with the devil energy, okay? With the five of cups, this person, they chose the devil over you, and now they are mourning. They're mourning the loss of this connection. They feel like it is completely over, and it's because your energy is so motherfucking strong with that strength card being there that... They know they can't just, like, with whoever that other energy is, they probably could walk all over them and come back and come back and come back. And you might have let them do it a couple of times, but it's to the point where they know you're not the same person you was they, when they hurt you the first time. You're not the same person you were when they left the second time. You see what I'm saying? You have became a, a force to motherfucking be reckoned with. So if they want to come, I reckon, I reckon that if they want to come toward you, I reckon they better come correct, okay? Hell no. They're scared of you. This person is scared of you. And so because they're so scared of you, what's crazy is they're going to just sit in the, with this devil energy and be fucking sad as fuck and feel like they have to mourn, mourn your loss. And it's due to their own decisions. What did I say in the beginning? They're dealing with the consequences of their decision. And you could be shutting them out, letting them deal with the consequences of their decisions. Okay? All right, that's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.